So today again, I am here to discuss the topics which we should prepare while going for the interview. So today I am going to share a few topics which are important uh, ethics part here. So here the triggers is the most important topic. So either you are a one, two, three or four or whatever years of experience person, you should be a good in triggers if you are applying for the development profiles. Uh, you will obviously get one scenario to write on the trigger. Okay, your interview will give you the one uh, scenario and ask you to write a code here. Okay, so uh, you should have a knowledge on the triggers. Like, and you can in this can give you the scenario and ask you whether we'll go with the after or the before. And the questions like uh, why there is no ID or ID in the before. So here you can explain the execution order and ask uh, and explain that in the before data is still not commit in the database. So here we are not having any report ID. So for, for the report ID, we need to go with the after triggers. Okay. And what is the read only error? How to resolve it and which event will be faced. So here it is uh, usually used to get read only in the after event. And if you, how are we going to resolve this? So this type of questions will be asked here and undelayed, why there is no undelayed in the before trigger. So here you can also explain the reason here. So uh, you should, uh, at least you should have a knowledge how to write a trigger. Okay. If you are applying for the development profile. And the next important topic is the asynchronous apex. So, okay, so this is also a very important topic. So, interviewer usually used to ask questions from this topic also. You should must be aware about the batch apex future and the uh, asynchronous, uh, what are the asynchronous fallouts and all. Okay, and the batch apex is the uh, very important topic also. And we used to get more number of questions from the batch apex. And also give you the scenarios like uh, can we call batch from the batch and can we uh, why we cannot call another batch from the execute method so, so there is also a reason so you should explain all the things here and what is mixed VML here and in this mixed VML how we can avoid this okay and why we cannot call future from future to future and we, what is the workaround here okay so these type of questions come from the asynchronous FX also and you can also ask you to write the syntax. Uh, uh, of the batch apex. Okay, so here you should need to uh, can uh, implement the interface and write the three different methods we have in the batch apex. Okay, so how we can make a call out from the triggers. So here the future methods come in picture. So this type of question which he will going to ask. And the best practices we should follow while writing the uh, trigger on the apex code. So here like your code should be bulky file. You should not perform any DML in the queries. Uh, you should not perform any DML in the loops and uh, all these best practices which you need to explain. Okay. Now the next topic here come is about the ORA and the LWC component. So it depends on you in which component you have worked. And if you have worked on ORA and still not worked on the LWC, as this comment also I have received many times, this LWC mandatory or your interviews will going to ask questions from the LWC. So here, uh, see, if you have one or two years of experience, then it, it can be neglected as, uh, but if you are more than two years of experience, then it, uh, it they will consider a candidate who is having experience or who has worked on the LWC also. Because LWC is now most, most commonly which we use. So now we queries are aura are not considered. We used to consider LWC only. So LWC knowledge is important. Okay, so you should know how will how the events are fired, what are custom events, how to pass value from an LWC to another LWC component, how to pass value from ORA to LWC component. Okay, so these are the, what is the difference between API and the track and so there are so many things. So here you will going to explain all your projects here, whatever the projects you have worked on the LWC and if you are three or four years of experience, so most uh, they will more focus on the JS part of the LWC. So these are the some things which you should must know. Okay. In the LWC component, if you have a good years of experience and also work on the projects. Okay. So now the next so uh, questions come from the Salesforce integrations also. So here it depends if you have worked on the integrations also. So they will going to continue on the integration part also. So the, uh, here the questions will be asked like the uh, use of uh, the benefits which we have, uh, which we get from the naming credentials. What is the process? What is all to point of connected app? So where we should create the connected app uh, in the source or in the destinations. 
okay so what are the different rest methods we have okay what is the difference between patch and how so everything and mostly from the related to your project only okay yeah. so, okay and now apart from this if you have worked on any additional clouds also like community cloud service cloud or the marketing cloud so they can uh so it depends completely on the interviewer it can ask you from this topic also or it can leave it okay but normally interviewer used to ask a question like uh, is there any error you have faced and the workaround which is out of the box you have used so can you explain this so here you need to explain any of the scenario which is most which is difficult for you to achieve so you can explain the scenario here like and these are the topics which you should need to prepare while going for an interview so, so thank you hope you guys enjoy the video and the next video will be you soon till then take care goodbye